In this machine learning class, we will see the Bayesian belief network. That is the simple concept about a Bayesian belief network from third unit Bayesian concept learning. And in today's class, we will discuss what is a Bayesian belief network and then what is conditional probability. After that, we will see the chain rule and how this chain rule helps to construct the Bayesian belief network. So, this is the Bayesian belief network and then we will see the conditional probability table. For all the variables in the Bayesian uh, network, there is a conditional probability table, right. So, we will see all those things in this class. Bayesian belief network, it is otherwise called as uh, Bayesian network, belief network, decision network or Bayesian model, whatever it may be, this is called as Bayesian belief network, right. Then what is Bayesian belief network? It is a probabilistic graphical model probabilistic graphical model is Bayesian belief network. It represents a set of variables or attributes and the conditional dependencies of these variables or attributes by using directed asymptotic graph. For example, we are having two variables A and B. Okay, the variables are represented as nodes. Variables are represented by nodes and the conditional dependency, isn't it? So, that is dependent by the arc or edge. Okay. Now, this is directed acyclic graph. Here, A is independent variable and B is dependent variable. That is conditionally dependent variable. Right. So, this arc represent the relationship between A and B. Here, the Bayesian belief network assumes uh, within a set of attributes, the probability distribution can have one conditional probability relationship and conditional independent assumptions. Okay, here A and B are two attributes, okay, and these two are related to each other. These two are related to each other. Here, this is the relationship and A is independent one, okay, and the relationship is represented by this arrow, okay, and this is based on the prior knowledge or belief about the influence of one attribute over the other attribute, okay, in what way B is related to A, okay, and this will be handled by joint probabilities. Suppose if an uncertain event A, uncertain event A is conditional on a particular knowledge or belief K, okay, event is represented by A and belief is represented by K, then the degree of belief in A, okay, with the assumption that K is known, that is K is already available, okay, which is expressed as P of a gives k, p of a gives k, okay, because the event, uncertain event occurs, a occurs only based on this k, okay. This conditional probability is expressed by the joint probability, it can write as p of a gives k which is equal to p of a comma k divided by p of k. This is our probability expression. Then we can rearrange this particular equation by using the product rule, okay, by using the product rule. Then P of A comma K which is equal to P of A gives K into P of K, okay, the same equation will be rewritten in this form. And suppose if there are three variables or three attributes, three variables or three attributes, here we are having only two, A and K isn't it? Only two attributes are there. Suppose if it is three attributes, P of A comma K comma C, then how can we rewrite here? P of A gives K comma C into P of K comma C, which is equal to P of A gives K comma C into P of K gives C into P of C. And this form of writing is called as the chain rule the chain rule, right? The general form of product rule for uh, n attribute, uh, that means a1, 
a2 etc up to an minus 1 an. So, total n attributes are there which is equal to the probability of a1 comma a2 comma etc up to an which is equal to probability of a1. A1 is the first one okay uh, which gives a2 to an multiplied by probability of a2 which is the second one okay based on a3 to an etc up to probability of a n minus 1 a n minus 1 is this one which gives a multiplied by probability of a n which is the last variable last variable okay so writing this version of product rule is called as chain rule okay now let us try to draw the diagram for the variables a a b c d e okay instead of a1 a2 a3 we are using a b c d e okay so this is a a followed by b followed by c followed by d and followed by e so those are the arrows which are connected all the nodes now we can write the product rule for these variables so the probability of a b c d e which is equal to probability of a this is the first one okay which gives b c d e multiplied by probability of b b followed by c d e okay c d e and probability of c c is here followed by d e and probability of d gives e and last one is probability of e right and now let us take this particular diagram here a is directly influenced by b right but when come to e it is not related to c and d right that means the variable c and d are not influenced by e and vice versa e is not influenced by c and d that is different so b is directly influenced c and e and how do we write this chain rule for this particular condition probability of a b c d e which is equal to probability of a that gives b okay and probability of b that gives c and d c c and d and probability of c that gives d probability of d and probability of e okay and now let us see some more detail about uh, the Bayesian belief network. Here, this is the Bayesian belief network. Here, uh, we are having nodes and arc. So, this is node and this is arc. Okay, two arcs are there. Three nodes are there. And that is used to determine the joint probability of variables. Okay, are the nodes are consisting variables. Okay, so the node represent the discrete or continuous variables, discrete or continuous variables that means the variable values will be discrete or continuous and that is used to calculate the conditional probabilities, right. And next one is arc, so this is arc, arc is used to represent the relationship of those variables, okay, that is the casual relationship of variables, right. So, nodes and arc combinedly form the Bayesian belief network. Here, the arc state that the node variables are conditionally dependent of its parent node. Right? For example, we are having two nodes A, B. Okay? These two nodes are uh, connected with one arrow. So, this is directly acyclic graph now. Here A is parent node and B is child node. Okay. So, the child is dependent on the parent but parent is independent. Parent is not depending on any other thing but the child node is depending on the parent node. Okay. So, the child is called as descendant of A that is the parent node. And the next one is conditional probability table. So, for each variable, uh, in this diagram we are having three variables. Rain today, Paul late to class and Tim late to class. 
okay for all the variables there is a separate conditional probability table so this is for rain today variable and this table is for conditionally uh, dependent variable that is fall late to class fall late to class with respect to rain and this is the another variable tim late to class with respect to rain okay so for each variable there is a separate conditional probability table and we can use this bayesian probability to calculate different behaviors of variables so based on this we can easily identify the relationship between the variables and the probability and the behaviors of the variables also up to this we have seen uh, the bayesian belief network from the third unit bayesian concept learning uh, here we have seen what is bayesian belief network and then what is conditional probability and then chain rule after that we have seen this conditional probability table okay in the next class we will see one example for this uh, bayesian belief network and then let us see the complex scenario of this bayesian belief network after that we will see the applications of bayesian belief network thank you